Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at this Tiger T4X stream box. This is a really handy device that allows you to stream live content straight to your TV. Here's what comes in the box. You get a user guide with instructions on how to connect the stream box as well as a look at the remote features. Here's the remote control. I like that it has a brushed finished look. It's nice when it catches the light. It uses two AAA batteries which are not included. You also get an HDMI cable and power adapter. The Tiger T4X measures 6.1 inches by 3.8 inches by 0.75 inch and it weighs 1.8 pounds. I like the aluminum housing on this stream box. It's cool to the touch and has a high-end appeal with the fierce Tiger logo in the center. At the front of the box is an LCD display that shows the power status and time. On the right side is an SD, SDHC, MMC card reader. Next to that is a USB 2.0 port. And to the far right is a factory reset button. On the left side are two additional USB 2.0 ports. These are great for plugging in a mouse and keyboard. There's an antenna at the rear if you choose to go wireless. To the right of that is an optical spidiv out for plugging in speakers. And you even get AV ports for compatibility with older TVs. Here's the HDMI port for 1080p streaming. There's also a LAN port if you want more consistent video playback quality. And finally, this is the power port. On the bottom are four round rubber feet to keep this unit in place on a smooth, flat surface. Now onto the specs. This stream box is powered by the Amlogic S805 quad-core ARM Cortex-A5 1.5 GHz CPU and Octa-Core Mali 450 GPU. You get 1 GB DDR3 memory and you have the option to install up to 8 GB NAND flash storage. Here's a list of the supported video formats, audio formats, and photo formats. And this stream box runs Android 4.4.2 KitKat. The Tiger T4X also has support for Wi-Fi 802.11a, b, g, and n, and dual Wi-Fi on the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. In order to effectively use TigerStream, be sure you have a 13 megabit per second minimum download speed. There's also compatibility for 3D HDMI displays. You get a six-month factory warranty, but there's the option to purchase a one to two-year extended warranty. And feel free to bug tech support anytime you have questions. I plugged the Tiger Stream box into an HDTV using the HDMI connector. And I've decided to connect via Wi-Fi so I won't have to run a long cord from the stream box to the router in another room. Once the stream device has been powered on, you will see a welcome screen. Use the included remote and press OK to hit Next. After that, choose your system language and click Next. On this screen, you'll be able to scale the image to fit the monitor display, which is a very useful feature. Just press the navigational pad on the remote to change it up. Let's set up the Wi-Fi now. Pick the connection of choice and input the password if there is one. I would recommend plugging in a keyboard to type out the password if it's complicated. After you're done, click connect now and then finish. You should be on the home screen now. What's neat is that you can do a speed test to make sure that your internet connection is what it needs to be and then some. There's a cursor button on the remote that you will need to press in order to begin the test. I'd say that's a tolerable speed. Be sure to head into OTA Updater so you stay up to date on the latest firmware. What's great is that you will be getting constant updates for the Kodi Media Center. There's also an apps menu like you would see on any Android device. And you can use the browser to search the internet. I would use a keyboard for this feature as using the remote to type everything out may get tedious. It's always safe to search for Joanne Tech Lover and a good idea too. Time to head into the Kodi Media Center. This is where the magic happens. Right now it's a bit bare bones, but that's because you'll need to set up the Kodi Wizard. Do this by clicking on add-ons under videos. Then select Tiger Wizard and play the waiting game. It shouldn't take long if you have fast internet. Kodi will restart and you'll get a whole new layout. This is what the Kodi Media Center will look like after the update. These are the categories you can stream from. Trending has the most popular add-ons that people use, like sports access, Nine movies, and the like. Sports Access shows you every live sporting event around the world. Click on the stream of choice, and if there is no stream available for that category, you can click into another stream to see something else, like basketball. Channel Up comes with a premium combo pack purchase, which includes a remote control keyboard along with a live channel package. Under Movies, you can use various add-ons to watch all kinds of movies, from the 1930s to the present. There's a sub menu above the add-ons, and you can navigate that menu to Genesis, which is a platform for movie searches and streaming. The add-ons are all meant to help you look up movies and stream them. I like using the Nine Movies add-on. Here's a quick look at the movie Straight Outta Compton, which I enjoyed very much the first time I watched it. I've never seen The Good Dinosaur, and that's definitely a movie I'm going to add to favorites. To do that, make sure the select bar is on the movie of choice, then click the menu button on the remote, and that should bring up a few choices, such as Add to Favorites. Once the movie has been added to favorites, press the favorite button on the remote and you should see the added movie in a separate tab. 
I gotta say, I was impressed by the crisp visuals when watching The Good Dinosaur. I could see the details in the vegetation, and the bark on that tree was just stunning. Please excuse the moire, as the video looks amazing in person. Some of the videos autoplay when you click on a title like The Good Dinosaur. However, if you're using Genesis to stream, you will get a list of available streams you can choose from. Be sure to pick HQ Streams as that stands for high quality. And if you're seeing your movies in list form, you can use the remote's left navigational key to change from list to thumbnail view. A useful button to press is the red Kodi button on the remote control. This will take you to the home screen as well as back into the Kodi Media Center. And you can always use the return button to go back to the previous screen or menu. Here's the TV shows category for the most on-demand shows. The TV guide is used in conjunction with the channel up feature. You can use System to install outside applications. There's even international programming included with Tiger Stream. Nice. Ooh, I see the Pandora option under Music. I use that quite often. The Fitness category should be good for anyone who's on the healthy track. If you have children, you can keep them occupied with the apps under Kids. And there's Live TV if you want to catch live streams. Under Sports, the Sports Access, Cody Streams, and Dragon Sports apps are exclusive to the Tiger Stream box. You can find all the live pay-per-view events in the Dragon Sports app. If nothing is live, you can always look at replays. Let's go into Cody Streams. I'm going to click into Replays, then MMA. Oh look, a Rousey video. If there's any buffering, just pause the video to allow it to finish loading. I love that there's so much you can do using the Tiger Stream Box. That wraps it up for this video on the Tiger T4X Stream Box. Be sure to check the link in the description below for the Tiger Stream promo code to get $75 off this order. Anyway, if you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Joanne Tech Lover Facebook, Joanne Tech Lover again on Twitter, and Joanne Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Also, be sure to check out my other YouTube channels, JTL Lifestyle and JTL Cuteness Overload. I guess all that's left to say is bye!